Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today we are going to make a gingerbread wreath using pretty much everything from Dollar Tree. Um, we're going to use a 14 inch wire wreath form and also a package of the gingerbread. And then I'll have some, some puffy paint, which I have not used puffy paint since I was a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of forgot how to use this stuff. But I got puffy paint, and I got some of the, the gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree. I got this green and white. I've got red and white. But <laughs> I saw, okay, so I saw this wreath on Pinterest. So this is not my original idea. I saw it on Pinterest and I'll, um, I'll link the picture that I saw. That way it kind of gives credit to whoever the original person was. But I just thought it was so cute and it matches our Christmas, yeah, our Christmas kitchen decor perfectly. So I just thought it would be fun to make this together. That way maybe, you know, if you love this too, that you can make it for yourself. So, all right. Now, I did read that it says like shake well, press tip to surface and gently squeeze, dry flat for four hours. So I did not realize it takes four hours for the stuff to dry. So we're gonna make this together and then I'll stop filming, I'll let it sit and dry and then we'll just kind of pick up. So for you, you won't even know the difference, but <laughs> so apparently I'm gonna have to let this like dry for quite a while. All right, I'm excited and hopefully this turns out as cute as the one that I saw, so. All right, I am going to adjust the camera. That way you can kind of see exactly what I'm gonna do. So, all right. Okay, so we're gonna start. Get our gingerbread open here. All right. Shake well. Okay, let's just kind of do this and see. that whole like gingerbread icing feel or look to it. It would be nice if my hand didn't shake so bad. Perfect, but that is cute. Um, all right, maybe some little squiggles right here. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and you can do like all of them different. You can do them all the same. Um, okay, I'm gonna try that one for now. Set that aside. Like I said, I did not know that it took four hours for this to dry. Hopefully it won't take that long.
Okay, so I was able to get eight gingerbread out of this one little thing of puffy paint. So like I said, one little bitty bottle did eight gingerbread. Okay, now, the, the, of course this is still wet. I'm just gonna kind of move on to like face and maybe like some buttons or something. But All right, so I've got um, black and I've got red. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go very basic on their faces. That way it actually looks like a gingerbread cookie that you know, that we made at home. <laughs> so, okay, like I said, my white is still wet too. So, let me do my best not to make a big old mess. All right. Got my black puffy paint in here. if I should do black first or red first. All right, so there's that. I wanna do like little red cheeks. Boop. Boop. Oh, that's cute. Okay, yeah. Very just simple, very basic. But look how cute that is. <laughs> yeah, but look, okay, very cute. I'm going to do the same thing to all of them. set these aside and let these dry for a little bit and then we'll just kind of continue on with it but, <laughs> but look how cute it is that is so adorable and it is not perfect at all <laughs> my hands shake really bad um so yeah but I think it's really cute and I think the way that it's hopefully that it's gonna look will be really cute too so okay so there's that Okay, while the gingerbread are over there drying, I just wanted to share with you, since we're kind of like doing the whole like gingerbread theme, um, a wreath that I made last year for us that I'm like so proud of. I love the way that this wreath turned out and I'm excited to share it with you. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this last year, but it is my Mrs. Claus <laughs> gingerbread candy wreath that I made and I love her. She turned out so cute. Do you see all the candy pieces, the gingerbread, love the little tray. Yes, and her little face with her glasses. So yeah, so I made this last year and I love it. And I'm so excited to go hang it on our front door. There she is on our front door. She is so big. I love her. <laughs> I mean, she just matches like our Christmas decor perfectly. I just want to kind of like show you some of the stuff that I have on here. See how pretty she is? Okay, so the puffy paint took a lot longer to dry than I thought. So it's actually the next day. So, wardrobe change. <laughs> um, I went ahead, I was not thinking. I went ahead and I put some little red buttons. All I did was I took the same red puffy paint that I did for the cheeks and I just added some little buttons because as I had it sitting over there drying, it just, it needed something on there. So I just did just two little buttons on here. And now we're gonna add some bows. I have, I have these ribbons from Dollar Tree. I have the red and white gingham and the green and white gingham. 
perfect like gingerbread colors. So, okay. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna make some basic little bitty bows. And it's gonna be little bow ties. size they're not perfect <laughs> I'm sure some are bigger than the other but I can kind of like trim and adjust as we go but all right so I've got my hot glue gun plugged in right here and now all we're gonna do is hot glue all the little like bow ties onto our gingerbread okay so I'm putting a little hot glue about right here on each one of them you just need a little bit of glue for these little bitty bow ties And just hold it there and be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Look how cute. It's adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Do you see how adorable these little gingerbread are? Oh my goodness. I love these as is. These would be so cute. If you didn't do a wreath with these, you could make you a garland. Oh my gosh, do some like twine or that red and white baker's twine. You could put you like a little something in between each one, but adorable. Love these, so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna make our wreath. Okay. So we have the 14 inch wire wreath form from Dollar Tree. Actually, everything is from Dollar Tree that we're about to use. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna do this on mine and we'll kinda see how it works. I am gonna wrap it in this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Now, yes, it has lace on it, but you're not gonna see it. But my stores were completely out of plain burlap. So I just grabbed this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around this because, you know, once we get the gingerbread on here, I don't want to see wire. I'd rather maybe see, like, a little bit of brown or something. So, okay, we're going to try this and see how this works. So, if you've watched my videos before, you know I don't always, like, plan completely ahead. <laughs> I just, I get these ideas and I just do it. So, let's see. Oh, actually, if you want it, like, if you didn't want that, that's ripping off really easily. All right, so I'm just going to try this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna adjust you again, that way you see everything that I'm doing, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue just to hold it, and then I'm gonna start wrapping around the, the, around the wreath. Okay, so you can start anywhere you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on this outside wire. I'm just gonna sit that right there. Careful not to burn yourself. So I did that just to kind of give me a little hold. Okay. Now all I'm gonna do is just constantly just go in and out and wrap around this just for coverage. So this does not have to be perfect. I'm just pulling tight and just kind of barely wanting to go to the, to the end. See? Y'all that lace. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like a little extra frosting. Look at it that way. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, pulling tight and just wrapping all the way around. Let's see how far one row gets us. All 
right, so one row got me almost there. <laughs> one row got me like three quarters of the way. So I'm just gonna hot glue this piece down. So I'm just gonna hot glue that down. Careful not to burn myself. All right, thank goodness I bought two rows of this because I wasn't really sure <laughs> how much it was gonna take. So I'm just going to, back here, put a little hot glue just to hold this down for me. All right, stick that right there. Just remember, you know, be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna continue to wrap around this. Pulling my ribbon tight as I go. So now I'm just gonna put me some hot glue back here. Shoot. Okay, so that is completely wrapped now. Um, <laughs> so really, if you're gonna do this, grab two rows of this burlap from Dollar Tree. Or if you've got thicker burlap, you know, whatever you have, it does not have to be this lacy. Actually, I prefer if it didn't have it, but that's okay, because you're not really gonna see that. So, all right, so I've got this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna go ahead and like place my gingerbread on here. That way I can get my placement right, because if I just start hot gluing, I may have a gap somewhere. So, let's just go ahead, kind of lay these out and see what we need. So I'm gonna start putting these up here just to kind of see before I glue anything down. Okay, I think this is adorable. Look how cute this is. Okay, so I've got my placement. I cannot see any of the wreath. I don't see any of that burlap sh um, showing through. So now, what I'm gonna do is, because I don't wanna mess this up, I am just gonna raise each one up, put a little hot glue behind it, and then just put it down. Because I know if I take this apart, I'm not gonna get it back just right. So. Like I said, all I'm gonna do is, um, I'll just basically start right here. I'm just gonna lift him up a little bit, put some hot glue, and then lay him right back down. That way, that's gonna stay exactly where it was. All right, you don't need a lot of glue. Stick it onto that one. Kind of press down. Now I'm gonna move on to my next one. Some hot glue. And I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. A little glue on the back of this one's head. I'll stick to the very next one. I'm gonna lift this one up. Some glue. Okay, so I got that down. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of this one's head. That way it's gonna to stick to that one. Okay. Put some glue back here. Like, have you ever got like hot glue on your clothes and it does not wanna come out? That's basically what this is gonna do. By hot gluing these to that burlap, it's really gonna stick. <laughs> so, 
I had to get that down. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. <laughs> this is so cute, so easy, extremely lightweight. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay y'all, I know it's basically Christmas, <laughs> but to me, gingerbread, you know, cause you do hot cocoa bars. I mean, hot cocoa is all winter long. So to me, gingerbread, this isn't just Christmas. This is all winter. And it's adorable, so cute. And this is like the perfect craft that you could do with kids. So if you have, you know, kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews, this would be so fun to do because it's so easy. Now I know you may not be able to find these gingerbread if you don't, don't already have them, but you can go to Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and they all sell sheets of this foam. So um, like this foam paper, or you can just do the brown felt that they have. Like they sell those um, felt squares in their little craft section like at Walmart, and it's less than a dollar. Like I think the little felt is like, what, 25 cents? So that would be so easy, so cute. You could do this with snowflakes for the winter time. You just cut you out a couple different like snowflakes, put them on here, add you some glitter. You could add glitter onto this or some little rhinestones for the buttons. Like I said, all I did was take my red puffy paint. But this is so cute. But I think this is adorable, as is. But of course, I'm gonna try and add a bow. So let's see what a bow would look like. Okay, so I know bows can be tricky and I still, <laughs> my fingers sometimes still get twisted and I'm like, oh, is that right? So I'm gonna like go slow and try to show you exactly how to make this bow. But what I'm gonna use is this, I don't have a lot left, so hopefully this is gonna work. It's this red and white, like buffalo check, gingham, whatever you call this. But see how it's got like a little glitter to it? This is from Hobby Lobby. This is back in the fabric section. So this is not Christmas. They have this year round. Um, like I said, it's back where all the fabric and like they have like a small section of ribbon. But it was $3.99 but I got it when it was 50% off. So I paid $2 for this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> all right, let's go slow and do this together. Okay, so since I don't have a lot of ribbon left, I'm just going to pinch a little tail, okay? So I just kinda have this little tail and I'm just gonna pinch it. Now I'm gonna take, pull this down, okay? I don't think how to stand so you see this better. And now I'm just going to come up, flip up and make a loop and just pinch it right there in my fingers, okay? So now I got that one. Okay, so now this is all dangling down. I'm now going to push up and make another loop and just pinch all that together. And then I'm gonna make sure that my loops are about the same size of each other. Okay, so now I have two loops. Okay. Okay, so while all of this is pinched, this is dangling down. Once again, I'm just going to fold. Okay, and I'm just gonna pinch it again. Okay. Alright, so now I've got two loops right there. Okay, and those look to be about the same size. Okay, so while everything is pinched, okay, see the stangling? I'm just going to push it up and then just pinch it all together. Okay, make sure that my loops are about the same size and that is way too small. Okay, let's see. So those are all now about the same size loops. So I've got a total of four loops here. Okay, that's why everything is pinched right here in my fingers. I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner. I've got this white one. I'm gonna place it right in the center of everything. Okay, 
And now I'm just going to take this, fold all of that up. I'm now gonna take this pipe cleaner and twist it as tight as I can a few times. Okay. So now I've got this pretty bow that I'm just gonna kinda of like fluff my loops. And then look how pretty that is. <laughs> like this is very easy. It's just, it's tricky when you're thinking of which way do you flip it, do you fold it? <laughs> So I know because I watched people make this stuff when I first learned and they went so daggone fast. I couldn't tell what they were doing. So if you really still couldn't tell, let me know and I will do another video of showing you how to make this bow. But Okay, so let's see. But this is so cute. I don't know if I want to like cover anything up. What if I just kind of did something like that? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do that. All I'm gonna do is this tail that's dangling, cause I don't wanna like cover up any of my gingerbread. It's too cute to cover up. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna hot glue this tail right here to the back of this. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that is so cute. All right, yeah, I'm gonna hot glue that on there. Like I guess I wanna get my placement just right. Okay, so you see that? I'm just gonna put some hot glue right on the back of this. So like right there. Just take some hot glue. And I'm gonna take this tail. Okay, so public service announcement here. Be careful when you're hot gluing. I just burned my pinky so bad. It just went ahead and like bubbled up and my skin is flapping like <laughs> it's like a bubble burn <sighs> it hurts so bad so um yeah be careful because i thought that was glue and no that is my skin <laughs> so yes it hurts <laughs> so um yeah just please be careful when you're working with hot glue all right <laughs> yeah do as I say, not as I do. Jeez Louise. Okay, so I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try and hot glue this one more time. <laughs> so let me just say, one of the issues I'm having is this one right here is still a little wet because during the night, one of them just got knocked off because they're still like weight to the floor and Bailey, our little dog, got a hold of it. <laughs> so I had to redo just this one, and so the paint is still a little damp. So go figure, but so I've smeared it a couple times, but it's okay because I love it anyways. But, but the issue I'm having is I can't lay it face down till I glue this bow on because it's gonna mess my paint up. So I was trying to hold it, and that's how I burned myself. So I'm going to attempt this again without burning myself and smearing this one right here. So, all right, so I'm just gonna hold this up so you can see it. Like I said, I'm just gonna put a bit of little hot glue right here in the back of this one and just attach my bow to it. So, this is what it's gonna look like. So, hang on, because <laughs> I am not trying to burn myself again. Okay, so take that, and then it's going to hot glue this bow right there. And hopefully that just went on straight and not crooked. <laughs> because that would be my luck, I mean, seriously. <laughs> okay, but look how cute, bless you. Look how cute, I love this. This is adorable. Okay, that is hot glued on there. Once again, I hot glued fabric to fabric, so that is a good hold. <laughs> All right, I've got a door hook right here, so I'm just gonna hang it on here, that way we can see it better. Okay, that is so cute. I love it, I am so happy we just did this together. Um, <laughs> Ignore my laundry. I have hanging right here. I've been doing laundry, so that's like stuff I had like to hang dry. But I love this. Like I said, this would be like the cutest little craft to do with a kid. 
So, or just to have a girl's night, you know, do something gingerbread, snowflakes, whatever you want, but it's so easy. Everything right here, minus this ribbon, but everything right here is Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, because if you didn't already have the gingerbread, you can go and buy just the brown felt, like square sheets that they sell, or um, they have foam, or they have felt that you could buy, and just cut out your own shape of whatever you want. But I love this, and um, some of the icing is not perfect. Like I said, this one, especially because it's still damp, um, I've smeared it a few times. But it's okay because it was handmade by me, and it's supposed to be a gingerbread cookie. You know, not perfect. But all right, um, now we'll tell you, this 14 inch wire wreath frame only took eight gingerbread. I started with 10, but it only needed eight of them. So I got all of them on here just right. And like I said, put them on there first before you hot glue. That way you can adjust and see exactly where you want it. Lift up, put a little hot glue, lift up, a little hot glue. Uh, okay, that's it. I hope you think this is as cute as I do. Um, it's pretty much Christmas. So I just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas. I love you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.